unlike cities, we all have alleys and gardens and secret rooftops and places where daisies sprout between the sidewalk cracks. But most of the time, all we let each other see is a postcard glimpse of a skyline or a polished square. Love lets you find those hidden places in another person, even the ones they didn't know were there, even the ones they wouldn't have thought to call beautiful themselves. Are you James George Newman, free lawfully to marry Amy Forster? I am. And are you Amy Forster, free lawfully to marry James George Newman? I am. I, James George Newman. I, James George Newman. Take you, Amy Forster. Take you, Amy Forster. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Amy Forster. I, Amy Forster. Take you, James George Newman. Take you, James George Newman. To be my wedded husband. <laughs> to be my wedded husband. Sweet. This ring is a symbol of the love that we share. This ring is a symbol of the love that we share. And of the family we are to become. And of the family we are to become. This ring is a symbol of the love that we share. This ring is a symbol of the love that we share. And of the family we are to become. And the family we are to become. So now it's my great honour and absolute pleasure to announce that you are lawfully married, husband and wife. And Amy, would you like to give your husband a kiss? <laughs>
I've been very lucky in my life with my daughters and my wife. They've all turned out gems. And I've been especially lucky that Amy has found James. Because Amy could talk forever and James could listen forever. And you kind of get a better match than that, can you? Raise your glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Newman. No, seriously, thank you. It means so much to us. We were saying last night, it's so great to see different friends and different family members come together and meet and get on. It's, it's been lovely, so, so thank you. So today is very, very special for me, not just because I get a new wife, but I gain a new stepdaughter, don't I? Mm -hmm. um, and Penny is the warmest, most creative, funny and aggressive person I think you'll <laughs> ever meet. Amy says that I have her life and that's quite true. And um, usually she's the most intolerant person you can meet, but with me, for some reason, she is different. She's very, very tolerant. She's very patient and a wonderfully kind person. I feel really privileged to marry Amy. She's the love of my life. And um, the final thing I want to say is, could you please stand and raise your glass to Mrs. Newman? Mrs. Newman. Mrs. Newman. Thank you. James, struggling to put into words how much I love you because you're just lovely and kind and funny and I'm not going to say any more because your head will just get so big, but I just love you so much. But no, he really does make every day an adventure. We just laugh all the time and he's so kind and I can't wait to see all the other adventures we do together. It's going to be brilliant. And I think we can all agree that it has been a fantastic day today. Um, James and Amy make a fantastic couple. And I always think you can tell that from names. So if, if you remember Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez, they, they, they were Benifer, weren't they? James and Edward, Jedward. You, you two, James and Amy, works both ways. Jamie, Ames, you know, perfect. You see, you see, it's a sign written in the stars. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock. Amy, you look absolutely stunning today. And James, you look like James. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but no, it's, it's been great getting to know you and, and Penny. Um, I, I, I jest, but James is a, he's, he's a fantastic guy, um, loyal, kind-hearted, he's a credit to his, his mum and I've, he will make you very happy moving forward. So I'd like you all to raise a glass to James and Amy. Jamie! Hey. <laughs>